Okay. You love delicious hot meals, but recipes can be time consuming and complicated. And what a mess you're left to clean. But imagine if you could make dinner with no pots and pans. Hi, Colin. I'm here with Quarantine Cooking with Colin. Today, we are looking at some old, vintage, classic childhood favorites. So, to give you a little bit of background, I, uh, I don't cook. I don't think I've ever really cooked anything that wasn't either in a microwave, a grill, or a toaster. That's, that's kind of where my proficiency is at cooking-wise, which is pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. If you're a little jealous, it's okay. Like, I get it, I can lay it down as a kid sailing girl. I can, I can pop things in toasters, I can, I can, I can, uh, I can work a microwave. So, what we're gonna do today is actually take a step beyond that and actually cook a legitimate meal. So when I was sleeping last night, close your eyes, close your eyes, imagine that. Just, there's, there's me, I'm sleeping. Uh, catching some, some some tight Z's, and I was thinking I had a bit of a, a Jimmy Neutron brain blast. Think. Why don't I just cook from like a legitimate cookbook? Brain blast. And then I can cook some interesting recipes from there. I think that would make for a bit of a better video than just a dude frying up some garbanzo beans. So as soon as I, I realized I was sleeping, I woke right up. I was like, dude, I'm gonna search Amazon. For like some weird cookbooks. I found a ramen cookbook. I thought it was it was cool, but I was like, I don't love ramen to the point where I'd like if I bought this, like I would use it for the video, and that's it. Like I wanted to get a cookbook at least cookbook. Get a cookbook at least that I could use for a while. And then I I came to a bit of a, a bit of an epiphany, a bit of a realization. I was like, you know who has a cookbook now? A real legitimate cookbook. You can buy it today or on Amazon, published, official, everything. My mom. My mom, fun fact, has her own cookbook. You uh, type in the movable feast or a movable feast, what's it called? Uh, the, the movable feast. Then you can find Denise A. McMurray's own cookbook. So I was like, dude, why not, why not try to cook recipes for my own mom's cookbook and see if I, uh, I should be able to cook these. It should be my blood, right? I should be able to like, just pump these bad boys out, no problem. So I went to go buy the book. And it was $40. I was like, eh, mom, I don't, want, I don't be paying 40 bucks for your own book. All right, I'm your son. I should be getting a little, little family discount. So I then I Google it, and then I found that you can buy the ebook. But as a little, as a little teaser, a little sample, you can get a free sample online of my mom's cookbook. I was like, sick, sick, okay. So I was flicking through it, and God bless this e, this fucking free sample, because I found one of my childhood favorites, one of an all-time classics, ice cream cone cupcakes. I remember as a kid, I would I would love these things. They're fucking delicious. And being the the, the little chubster that I was back in the day, dude, I gobbles right up. Those were those were one of my favorites. So I had the recipe right here on my laptop. That's what I'm pointing at because you can't see it. It looks like I'm just pointing at nothing. But uh, I'll, maybe I'll edit it in like a little laptop screen right there. So I had the recipe. I went to Walmart this morning. I bought all the necessary ingredients: uh, cake mix, eggs, cupcakes. No, I mean, uh, cupcake, uh, cupcake sheet, and, fuck, dude, what the fuck else did I buy? And, uh, uh, other things. So, I was like, yeah, that's a, that's a sweet idea. So, that's the premise for today's video. We're gonna try to cook recipes for my own mother's cookbook. I don't know why I say mother, my Mom, mom's cookbook. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's get grown, and, uh, let's do it. Okay, so, here we go. We got everything. We got... We got the cake mix, the ice cream cup things, the baking tray for the cups, eggs, uh, frosting, butter, and milk. All right, I've actually never made a cake before, so this is gonna be interesting. Let me pull up. Actually, let me move this. Okay. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna do that from now. My eyes look fucking tired. Okay, so I know I have to bend down, but that's just the way it's gonna be for now. So, um, let's get it going. So, first thing we're gonna do is prepare cake mix according to directions, never made cake. So this will be interesting. Okay. Okay, okay boys. Here we go. All right, the chair was, I think, what was missing really. So, okay. Go ahead, preheat the oven, all right. 
Uh, I might have to call my mom for that one. I don't really know how to do that. Uh, mix cake, mix water, butter, and eggs into a large bowl. Uh, with the mixer, I mean, see, or beat vigorously by hand. Pour it into pan. Bake as directed and chart until, or until toothpick inserted in center comes out clean. That's an interesting test got going on there. Uh, okay, so pan size. Cupcakes. Spoon batter. Fuck. Ah, okay. Just a bit of a tip and trick. We're not really making this all the way, because we need to put this, the batter, once we get it into these. So let me go ahead and Maybe put this away, because this is going to be a while. I mean, I don't need the milk right now. The hardest thing about this, for me, honest, is to be preheating the oven. Let me move my set. There we go. Easy. <laughs> Look at this easy axis. All right. I'm going to assume that we're going to do... Turn this on. Or potentially... Bake. Okay. Okay, 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 so 325. Start. Okay, so now it's preheating. Bingo, dude, okay, I got that, I got that. So, you don't have a fucking chair right next to the oven. The chair was, I think, what was missing, really. But, we're gonna preheat that three to 325. Oh, actually, actually, we're gonna do 350. Now that I, okay, well, well, 325 is pretty good, too. So, this is going to make a lot, I think. That's fine. So, a cup of water and a third cup of butter. So, I have the butter. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so, then we're going to set up. I'm going to get a little bit of a knife. In there, okay. Now we just mix it, we just beat it vigorously for two minutes. So that butter's still fucking big, dude. I feel like this entire process has been kind of, kind of fucking janky to be honest. So I beat this for two minutes, but I didn't put the egg in. So we're gonna put that egg in right about now. Uh, I'm gonna be half, so maybe I'll put the two eggs. That was actually pretty good, dude, honestly. I was not I was not as clean. I'll be honest. I was not as clean of a of a, of a break there. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We're, we we still got it. We still going. Okay. <laughs> really, I really having a hard time comprehending how this works. Okay. So actually, so I can put the oven at 325. My mom's cook cook recipe says 350. So I'm gonna actually put this up. Well, well, 325 is pretty good, too. So. I can't. Well, um, no. No, I cannot. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. 325 it is. We will be making this at. Back to my mom. She said, put bake the oven 350. I put 325. I can't really figure out how to change it. I'm pressing the up button, but nothing is, uh, nothing's really happening at this point. See, I'm at 3. Wait, if I press that, does that? 350. Okay. Okay, so actually, actually we hacked we hacked it, boys. We got it, so we're at three we're at 350 now. My camera's a little bit janky. Oh I got fucking egg on my tripod. Does that? That just seems a little tilted. Maybe I'll fix that in post. Okay, there we go. That's fine. 
Um, so yeah, that's preheating. I'm gonna keep whipping this up. Actually, I'm gonna put this in the ice cream cone. So. I'm thinking three. I don't know how much I actually made. But if I can do three. Okay, we're at 350. Perfect. That little beep was 350. Okay, so now we're gonna pour this. Okay. And okay. That's fine, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there uh, for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, here we go. That was the tripod. Okay, let me let me show you boys what we're looking at. So that's I don't know if you can see that. Um oops. That's what we're looking at. It's not I don't know. But we'll see. Okay. So that's in. Oh, that's my fucking tripod. I'm gonna bake that. Alright, here we go. Alright, and then I can put a timer on, right? No, I don't care. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and put that. So, that's what we're aiming for, is that. If we actually make that, I'll be very surprised. So let me put timer uh, for, let's do, let's do 17 minutes. Go ahead and start that. Okay, now while that's going, I'm gonna start cleaning up. I'm like Casey nice that. So I will see you uh, when, that's, when that's done after 17 minutes. Okay. So actually it's been a little over uh, 20 minutes, but we are, Good to go, we're gonna get these bad boys out. And they're looking uh, pretty sick. All right, let me get a towel or something. All right, this is that's how the pros do it. All right, got these bad boys out. Cool. Okay, so the oven is off. While I was waiting for those bad boys to cook, I got some of the finishing touches. The last thing the recipe calls for in my mom's cookbook is icing and sprinkles. So we're gonna put those on right now. Actually, I feel pretty, pretty, pretty solid actually. Okay, so get this bad boy open. I think the best looking one, probably, it's probably this one here. So we're gonna, don't look at that. <laughs> cover this bad boy, a little icing on top. Oh, it's all coming together. And there we go. There we go. That's oh, it. That's hot. That, that that's hot. is what we've been waiting for, boys. Is this bad boy right here. I, uh, let's go ahead and compare and contrast to the pictures. Honestly, it doesn't look horrible, but I'm curious to see as to how this tastes. see me good enough but I have I have my cupcake I have my cupcake uh, cupcake cake cone ice cream cone cupcake here we go it's 
pretty good actually. Yeah. It's, I'll be honest, not as good as I remember. I think that's my fault because I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't do the best job making the cake, but I'm impressed. It tastes, it tastes, put it this way, it tastes more than I thought it would. It tastes closer to what I thought it would taste like, like I remember than I thought it would. But yeah. Overall, it's a success. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say after that. That's a that's a delectable treat right there. Power to my uh, way, way to go, mom. Made a made a decent decent little recipe. So, what's the takeaway from this? Uh, uh, that I can uh, can read directions and and some function an oven. So, if you think that watching me make a cake mix was worth your time. By all means, power to you, man. Uh, if not, understandable. So yeah, uh, this leads to us to the last thing I do want to talk about. So, you may have noticed throughout this entire video that I was wearing this shirt with IXMC. Uh, and this is kind of something I've been working on, I've thought about forever, and I've just never had the time or motivation to do it. So I thought, fuck it, I'm in quarantine, I work from home, I might as well just just like make it happen. So, I worked with a company that does my prints. If you go to my website, you can buy my prints. Pretty sick. But they also do shirts. So I've been thinking of a shirt design forever. And it happened, uh, this, this idea has been in my head for a while. But I finally made it happen. Made it happen. And so now you can buy what I call the Nine Finger Moto Club merch. So it says IXMC. IX is the Roman numeral for, for nine. MC is Moto Club. And then on the back, you got the essentially a, a skeletal structure, structure of my hand. I don't know if you see it. Um, but yeah, you can pick these up from my website. This is a legit pro like, uh, product. You can actually buy these for real. You can. This is something you know tangible. This isn't just a prototype, like you can legit go on to my website and buy it. So yeah, this is my first my first merch drop. How, how sick, right? But yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll put a link in the description to my mom's cookbook, the free sample uh, of the cookbook, and also uh, my merch, my website. So yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys, and uh, I'll catch you next time when I cook some more quarantine treats.